So I'm in the garage and I'm getting ready to install my brand new Rain Machine HD12. And uh, you're looking at my old unit right now and this is my new unit. The old unit is a, a manual six zone controller and I like it. It works. You, you know, you program each zone. It's hands on. It's very easy to uh, figure out. But when it rains, you have to come and turn it off and then you have to come and turn it on. And I forget to do that, especially when a car is parked in the garage and stuff like that. You also don't get a lot of stats with a dumb uh, Rainbird like this. So with the new Rain Machine, there's going to be stats and an iOS app that I can use to analyze everything. So I'm looking forward to pulling this old thing off and putting the new one on. Okay, I haven't really opened this up and looked at it and seen uh, what it's going to take. So first I'll unplug the unit. Pull this off. Pull off the AC adapter. Okay. Cool. Okay, I got a picture of my zone, so now I know one, two, three, four, where they're at. Uh, here's the common wire. So just kind of, you know, make a make a note of all these these wires, and now I'm going to use the uh, flathead screwdriver that came with the rain machine, and I'm going to pop off each one of these wires. Okay, now I got my uh, power drill. I'm gonna uh, zip this out. Perfect. So I've got this spot right here. It's over to the left of where we were just looking. And uh, I don't wanna drill directly into the house just not comfortable with that. Um, so I've got this scrap piece of wood that I'm gonna cut to size, put in here, and then this will give us a backing to, uh, to drill the rain machine in. So the next step is uh, rain machine includes a nice little template here. So I'll just uh, mark the holes. All right, so all three holes are there, but I actually need to back out the screws and uh, put them through the front of this. All right, that's looking good. I probably shouldn't have taken off the perfect protective film uh, before I did this, but sweet. That is very secure now. Okay, I just looked at my photo, and now I've got my uh, wires here, and it was blue, green, yellow, red. Put the common wire in first, which was the white one. All right, now I got my AC adapter wires and it's not plugged in. It's just hanging out. I'm gonna put these wires in. All right, nice and tight. Here we go, we're gonna fire it up for the first time. All right, we've booted up for the first time and it says give a friendly name to your rain machine. Rain machine's fine by me, that's the default. Give a password for my rain machine. All right, so I'm going to click on here, see if it gives me a keyboard. And let's just do admin for now. Nothing fancy. All right, I'm going to connect to my Wi Fi. And now I'm going to pause it so you don't get my password. All right, I've inputted my password and we're going to connect to my Wi Fi. All right, we're connected. I'm going to go next. Address setup. Please enter your address. All right. All right, so I typed in my address and uh, it was kind of trying to do an auto sense of where I live and there's a similar address in San Antonio, Texas to my address, so that looks good. That is where I live. All right, what day, what time is it? Is it January 17th? Is it 11.57? Uh, we may never know. Los Angeles time zone, sure. In order to be accessed, you need to provide an email address. All right, put in my email. All right, congrats, your rain machine's ready to use. Awesome. So let's add a new program. And this program is gonna run daily at 6, 6 a.m. Please assign some zones to this program. Uh, we'll do zone one. And what do we wanna do? Water zone one for 
Let's do 25 minutes. And I'm pretty clueless about the amount of time I should be watering, my soil type. I just, I water and, and see what happens. So I'm hoping that the rain machine will actually give me some guidance on my soil, my slope, because I've seen other uh, irrigation controllers that do the same thing. So you can set a delay between zones. So if you need water pressure to build up, you know, give me an hour between zones or if you have a water tank that fills up. So cycle and soak means that it will water in cycles. So it'll water, you know, your, your lawn for 20 minutes, stop, let it soak in for 30 minutes and then start again. So it kind of splits your, uh, splits your cycle in half, which is pretty cool actually. I might try that later. So when you program the rain machine, you set it to the amount of water you would need on a normal summer day. So when this watering cycle comes through, this is basically saying what percentage of the watering on a normal summer day are we going to do? And since rain is in the forecast pretty much every day, except for Wednesday, it's going to do 0%. So it should skip today, skip tomorrow, skip Tuesday. So it's going to skip for a while until we actually get to a, a day that needs, needs some watering. So that's pretty smart, right? Instead of having to come out and turn it off and turn it on. All right, so everything's looking really good. Uh, I want to test my zones to make sure that they are actually working. So we'll do a minute for zone one, a minute for zone two, a minute for zone three, and a minute for zone four. And I hear the sprinklers going. All right, the test went well. All four of my zones got fired up and I only wanna run them for a minute because it is raining right now. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna uh, install the app and see how that goes. So if you got an iPhone, you just head on over to uh, the iOS app store. Uh, search for rain machine and you see the icon there. It's kind of different. All the other branding has two raindrops as the branding But for this app icon they have this uh, black watering bucket with a green background. So don't get thrown off by that Once it gets connected you do a little firmware update and uh, that takes a few minutes But it's good because it means you have the latest version of the software installed and ready to go and then when you first boot in, the dashboard shows up and, oh man, I can't wait for this actually to be all filled with stats and cool stuff and information about watering. Right now it's nothing because I haven't watered anything. So the first thing I did was hop into the programs menu and click on the program that I had made. And I renamed it to general watering. I think it was called rain machine before. And then I also changed it to odd days instead of daily. Um, and we'll see how that goes. In the zones menu, you can go directly to each zone and uh, fire them up for a few minutes if you just want to do it right here and right now outside of the uh, daily watering schedule. I feel like that was really easy overall, getting everything set up and, and nicely working. Got it working on my phone, got it connected to the internet, got the weather forecast. I went from kind of a funky old uh, system that was working to something that was, that's really smart and nice and smooth. The plan is to play with it for about two weeks and then write up a pretty intense review of all the different features and to really see if it's everything it appears to be.